Steinberg WaveLab is an audio finishing and mastering environment with a suite of tools for optimizing your projects for delivery in any format. WaveLab Go is an ARA2 plugin included with all paid versions of Pro Tools that provides you with a host of WaveLab editing environment features. With ARA2 support for WaveLab Go in Pro Tools, you can leverage these tools without having to round trip audio through a separate application. Let's take a closer look at how it works. Whether you're mastering a music or post-production project, when delivering to streaming services, you need to make sure your final mixes conform to the platform's loudness spec. Let's use WaveLab Go to adjust this music mix to meet the delivery requirements of various platforms. To open a clip in the WaveLab Go editor, select it, then choose WaveLab in the right-click menu and click Edit. The clip will be analyzed and populate the WaveLab ARA tabbed editor. If you prefer to work with WaveLab in a separate resizable window, click the Detach from Edit window icon. WaveLab's audio display will synchronize to Pro Tools. You can zoom using the zoom wheels or using the mouse scroll wheel with modifier keys. In WaveLab's View tab, you can choose whether it will update its view to follow playback position. In WaveLab's Process tab, you'll find various tools for manipulating audio clips, including a loudness normalizer. Clicking the menu next to the loudness button opens a list of presets, with settings tuned to the standards set by various music and broadcast streaming services. As you choose presets, you'll hear a real-time preview of how these settings change your mix level. WaveLab also has powerful spectral audio editing and repair tools. Let's focus on this section of the music track. There's a hissing artifact here in the mix that we might prefer to remove or reduce at a late stage in the project. WaveLab Go's spectral editing will let us do this without having to go back to the multi-track mix. Let's first choose a tool to highlight the section we want to fix. We'll use the brush tool here. Let's make the selection and listen to it. Then apply a level change of minus 20 dB on the selected part of the spectrum. Let's listen to the result. It's easy to check the adjustments that you've made to specific clips by bypassing WaveLab from the clips right click menu. When you've finished editing with WaveLab, you can render your work, ready for export from Pro Tools. Alternatively, you can keep the WaveLab ARA plugin active, enabling you to make further real-time edits until you're ready to commit and render the changes. If you choose to render your audio, you have two options. To render a range of your track, select the processed clips, then right-click and choose Render from the ARA sub-menu. This will render the selection as new clips, but keep the WaveLab plugin on your track. You also have the option to clear processing in this menu. If you want to render the entire track, click the track's ARA plugin selector and choose either none or a different plugin. Pro Tools will give you the choice to commit all active ARA processing on the track or revert all clips to their original state. From loudness processing to a suite of powerful restoration and mastering tools, WaveLab Go has the tools to do the job accurately and intuitively.